I wrote directly to Hosni Ul Masih Salis. The very important thing he asked me that remember that you are going to Ghana as Waqf Zindagi teacher. So always remember Allah and don't do any act which is against the teachings of Islam and Ahmadiyyat. Join us for a special two-part series on Hazu's early life in Ghana as we trace his footsteps across his eight years of service as a devotee. When I was here, I did not think of abandoning this country. I considered myself to be a Ghanaian. We take you on a journey and introduce to you the people who witnessed him living and working in service to humanity. When I went there, I didn't know that I'm going to such a place where uh, there is no light, no gas, no water. That man was good. He, if not because of him, like this school would not come to stay. That's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> he was teaching him English. He was so committed to work. He was not lazy. He was not selfish. A very humble, honest, gentle and God-fearing person. Don't miss this exemplary story of love, humility and devotion. He remained humble throughout. He remained dedicated throughout. He, you know, went through all possible hardships that anybody can go through without any complaint. That is a mark of a real devotee, somebody who is dedicated to the cause.